Hey everybody, welcome back to Trail of Fire. So, um, I got a hot sauce review today, guys, and I apologize, I'm in my vehicle. Um, I've been super busy, so. Doing a hot sauce review in the car. Um, I've actually been sitting on this hot sauce for quite a while, and I was trying to think of what the best thing to use it for, and for the life of me, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, El Yucateco. I love this stuff. Um, one of my favorites is the Black Label Reserve. A lot of people don't seem to like it. You got to really like the smoke flavor. Um, so I haven't tried any other stuff that I haven't liked. They got a red sauce. They got a green sauce. They got an extra, extra hot. That one's pretty decent too. Um, I've seen this one and uh, it's nice, a uh, nice bright orange bear with me i'm sorry the uh, light's kind of cutting in and out here um let me see if i can move this around a little bit maybe that'll help um, habanero and i'm not sure how to pronounce this i looked up the pronunciation on it and i forgot chilt chiltapen chiltapen maybe Anyways, if I mispronounce it, let me know. Drop a drop a comment here. Um, there's actually a long ingredient list. Um, you guys can pause the video if you want to read the ingredients on it. Um, I don't really read all the ingredients on stuff when it's a long label. Just because to me it's kind of boring reading off an ingredient label. You either like something or you don't. Um, I just pay attention to the numbers. Because I gotta watch like my sodium and all that crap so anyways yeah i'm looking forward to this i picked this up from uh there's a, a latino market here in springfield missouri off of glenstone avenue um trying to remember the exact name of the place um but anyways you guys get to get it I didn't get this at Walmart because, you know, or anything like that. Walmart, a lot of these mainstream, mainstream grocery stores just don't have, like, a really good selection of hot sauce. Um, I've become a little bit of a hot sauce snob over the years. I, not too bad. I mean, I do like some store-bought sauces. But I've been really spoiled um, knowing people in the chili community that are hot sauce producers and, and chili growers and making my own sauces and powders and stuff. So I've become a little bit of a sauce snob, but I try to review some of the cheaper sauces too, some of the mainstream ones, because, you know, they all need to love. I'm just, I'm doing this so you guys can kind of see the consistency in case you're wondering why I'm just like, woo. <laughs> Anyways. It's got a nice thick consistency. It's not too thick. And I don't know if there's going to be a flow restrictor on this or not. Let's find out. No flow restrictor. It smells really, really good. So I got this. I'm going to try it by itself. And then I got some, um, I got some wings here that um, they don't have no sauce on them yet. So I, I left them sauce free because... I'm going to try this, and I, I want to try it first because if it tastes like garbage, I don't think it will, but if I don't like the way it tastes, I ain't going to put it on my wings. I haven't had wings in, a, in, a, in a quite a while, so this will be a nice little treat today. I've been watching what I eat. All right. Yeah, get on there. Fill that spoon up. Heck yeah. Nice and creamy, nice and creamy texture. It has kind of a little bit of fruity notes to it, and um, it's more like kind of like sweet onion. Wow, that's crazy. Mildly sweet and kind of like a creamy texture, but just very very little sweet not much it's more savory than sweet it definitely has savory and then it has like this black pepper finish to it really nice this is really really good the heat level i'm not getting like crazy amount of heat this is like your traditional habanero level heat but wow um 
It definitely tastes like orange habaneros. It has that orange habanero flavor, which I absolutely love the taste of orange habaneros. Just did a video on that. You guys might want to check it back. Uh, like two videos ago, I did, um, I did, I uh, tried two different habaneros just to see how they panned out as far as like flavor and heat and stuff. So I got my wings here, guys. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to put them in here. Oh, man, this stuff is so good, guys. I think that's I think that's good. I want to make sure I want to coat the wings, but I don't want to like just waste the sauce because sometimes you can put like too much in there and then you end up with a bunch of hot sauce left in your container. It's like what a waste. And some food tastes better when it's on. You know, like some sauces they just taste better when it's on food. Oh yeah, perfect coating. Yeah, here we go, man. That's why this is trouble food for me. This kind of food I have a hard time putting down. Mm. That's freaking good. I took the heat down quite a bit. Um, I'm going to put some more on the spoon here. Um, like I said, I don't really know how to describe the heat level. It has that weird, like, kind of... I know people laugh if I say black pepper heat because it doesn't really, it has like, it's like a different type of spice. It tastes like it might have a little bit of cilantro in it too. This is really freaking good, guys. Chicken and fish right away. See, I wasn't sure how this was going to be on the wings. Oh my gosh, that is, that is really crazy good. Heat level. Um... I don't know. My tolerance is way down from what it was a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know. Maybe two out of ten. The flavor. Oh, my God. For me, flavor scale on a one to ten scale, I would say definitely. I would say a strong seven. This is This is really, really good. This is officially my new favorite one. Um, I still love the Black Label. I'd say my other two favorites from this company would be like the Black Label Reserve and um, the Extra Extra Hot. The red and the green ones are okay. Um, they just really don't have like a whole lot of heat for me. I just need a little bit more heat, but the smoky flavor on that, the... Um, that black label reserve it's charred habanero I was actually talked to somebody at the company and they were talking about it and um i was just like man what makes it black and what gives it that flavor and they were telling me i forget when i i talked to somebody at the company i don't remember it was like a few years ago but uh, sorry <clears throat> all right guys i'm gonna eat my wings i'm gonna get inside and get a few things done before i go to work i really appreciate you guys watching until next time, guys, I'll see y'all on the Trail of Fire, man. God bless.